How's it going, everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you. Hey, everybody, how's it going? I'm going to show you how to hey, do this. Hey, hey, whoa, today. whoa, whoa. Leave the kid alone. He's doing his best. Clone yourself. So, before you even turn on your camera, what you're going to do is set the scene. So, I recommend using not natural lighting because it's subject to change over the course of your video and it will change. It's not even, it might change, it's going to change. Um, so if you are using a continuous lighting environment that you have control over, then your clone is going to look more natural. Another good thing to do is to also shoot at a wide angle so you really get everything in frame. I'm at 16 millimeter on a full frame camera right here. When you're recording a kind of scene like this, you're gonna wanna take multiple takes. So you're gonna wanna get the timing right, you're gonna wanna practice your scripts. And if you're like communicating with yourself in this, which most likely is probably what you're gonna be doing, you wanna really time out what you're gonna say, how long it takes you to say it, and then go off of that. Cause your reactions after and before you say it are gonna still remain there. You're gonna remain on screen, if that makes sense. So I kind of look to my left initially because this guy comes in and starts so it starts being a being a, a poop head, and then I get defended over here, right over here, by my gangster friend. And then I'm gonna look through here, and I've got me walking in a bunch of different times. Okay, so you're gonna go through your footage and pick your best takes. So we're gonna line up these clips to kind of go with my dialogue. So let's see here. Let me show you how to. All right, so my dialogue starts, I can see, so I can see when I start talking. Okay, so I come into the frame at right here. So that is my mark in point. You're gonna wanna stay um, as close as you can to the person without ever going in front of them. So as you can see, I kind of like am timid Got, got some timid hands going on there to kind of gesture, but not go in front of um, where I would be on the screen. So, as you can see, I think that, um, yeah. So I, this is about how far um, I go to touching myself, which I'm like, I'm about here. Like I, I tried to constrain myself inside the chair. So what you're gonna, now that you know your range of motion, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go under opacity you're gonna click on the free draw bezier, which is a pen tool, pretty much. All right, so what I'm gonna do here now is go to 50% and really get a extended view of this. So I'm gonna draw out myself in this clip. And then I'm gonna draw around. So make sure that you're drawing around this and not completely on the frame or cutting it off. The mask is already feathered. I would recommend feathering it a little bit more just to kind of blend in the two clips. And boom, simple as freaking that. Okay. So now if we play this back, you can see I come in and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you see that, you see a change in the shadows. There's, a def there's like a definitive change in the lighting, which is why working with natural light isn't ideal. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go into our Lumetri color and we're just gonna try and match it. I'm just gonna let the whole clip just take it over where this is now my new like lighting side where it's just gonna be there. And so there's gonna be another character that's introduced and I picked out this clip. You're just gonna pretty much do the exact same steps as you did um, in the clip before. So I'm just gonna uh, toggle that off for a second and try to see. So I look over at about here. So let's put this one at about there. All right, so this one as well, I don't really go too far over. I kind of keep my motions low. Um, so you're gonna do the exact same thing with this clip as you did in the last one. And you're gonna take this tool and you're going to draw a mask around this. So let's go to 50% and let's start drawing that mask. All right, that looks good. So now I've got all three. Yeah, we can keep that feathered a bit. 
Um, cool. All right, and that looks good. Visually, this looks good, but now we're gonna see if it lines up. So, another thing, if you can see in the corner here, I fucked up because I pulled on the cord to move a fan out of the way so I could walk through. So, you can't notice it. You don't really notice it in the intro, but like, if you're like picky and you're just like, oh, like, they see that little thing. But yeah, I messed up here. Um, so that's, that was a big one. And then I also messed up by um, not spacing this out correctly. Get alone, he's clone doing yourself. your best. So I, I wanted to say clone yourself after I say do, he's doing his best. So I fucked up here and a little, a little, little cheat that you can do is you can take out this little part where I'm looking over because I'm not really moving too much in the middle. And that was just slowing down the speed of the clip. You don't want to do this. This is like, it's going to make it look a little choppy, but I'm moving so slowly and I'm not, and I'm not really the center of attention here. It's really the other people. So I can get away with this. All right. So I'm going to render, I'm going to render this out and play it back for you all to see. How's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you. How oh, hey everybody. How's it going? I'm going to show you. How to hey, hey, whoa, today. whoa, whoa. Yeah. Leave the kid alone. He's doing his best. Clone yourself. So what you're doing is layering the clips over and then masking out each of your clones or each of your other shots to where you can just get that point over it and then blending it in by feathering and changing the exposures and then on and so forth. There aren't many applications in which, in which you could use this, but it is a fun thing to know. So this has been a fun tutorial. I had a lot of fun making this and I hope that you learned something today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.